Hello everyone and welcome to the very first tutorial on CS50 Python or CS50P working on the problem sets and the labs. This is CS50. If you didn't watch the first video about how to set your code space and how you connect your GitHub account to your code space, we have solved all these steps. You will find the link of the video in the description below. So you will not need to do all these steps once again, only this one, which you will sign to your Visual Studio Code boot space each time you solve a problem set. Here we need to click on the first problem set, which is indoor voice. We need to read each and everything here before we start to write our code. Best to use your indoor voice, sometimes writing entirely in lowercase. Until now, we don't know what is needed from us. Here we start. In a file called indoor.py, this is the extension of the Python files, implement a program in Python that prompts the user for input. This is the first thing we can copy this and uh, one more thing I like to solve the problem sets locally so I all the time change to either PyCharm or VS Code to write my code here I created a file called endor.py and I will start writing the comments so this is called by the way a pseudo code a pseudo code is like writing your steps before you start coding maybe this problem set is too easy but you're gonna need this in the other problem sets coming in the next videos so first thing needed from us is prompting the user for input let's see what else needed from our side and then outputs that same input but in lowercase so outputs the same input in lowercase this is like the second step then they say here that punctuation in a white space should be outputted unchanged so we will not do anything with the punctuation like question marks dots whatever they will be as is you are welcome but not required to prompt the user explicitly as by passing a string of your own as an argument to input so we will use input and you're free to use only input or you can use a string inside of input uh, so to prompt a user we are using a method called input and you're free optionally to use a string inside input or not. So it's better to use something like enter a message, colon and space. So the colon and space is to give a space to the user to write his own message. Is that enough? No, we can add this to a variable like message equals so here, as we saw in the lecture, equal signs assigns the right of the equal sign to the variable on the left hand side. So now we have a variable called message. This message will prompt a user and stops. After that, we wait for what the user will write down and then whatever written, it will be saved inside the variable message. What we will do, we need to output that same input in lowercase. The output means to print on the terminal or on the screen. So print what? Print the message of the user. We need to print it in lowercase. We have a method called dot lower. And it doesn't take anything. Just dot lower, open, close brackets just to call the message let's give it a try python indoor.py the message says enter a message so let's say uh, hello all capital hello world 
in all capital letters and let's add exclamation mark enter now we have hello world all in lowercase and the space is as is and the exclamation mark is why i use the local ide like this is my charm or sometimes i use use the study code because it saves time unlike unlike using the online ide or online visual study code it's not working this way so now our program is working so we need to follow along here the hints very important the hints first it says recall that input returns a string so the method input returns a string not uh, a float not an integer and here is the link of the documentation of input if we go so here is input not important right now but it's going to be important in the next projects here also recall that a string comes with quite a few methods for these for this documentation we can check for the lower case for the input so here lower you will find the string dot lower and here here is what we want or here is our solution for the problem set string which is the message dot lower which converts all the letters to a lower case ignoring the punctuation let's see what is needed execute cd by itself in the terminal window you should find that your terminal windows prompt resembles the below like this one let's go you say cd to make sure that we are in the root directory then make their indoor we are creating a directory called indoor then we'll cd to this indoor as it is over here cd to indoor then code indoor but by we will create the indoor.py file now we have created the file this demo you can follow it and here is the test so we can type hello and we should get hello like this we will go to our local ide and then we will paste the code python indoor by hello well, the, the output is hello in lowercase, so this is correct. The, this is yes, 50. Well, let's call the program again Python indoor.py yes, 50. We get yes, 50 in lowercase. This is the very important thing you have to do this check before you submit your problem set to the teachers. After you finish the code and you try these things, if everything is working, you need to check again. You copy this one, paste it here, and enter. Now it's uploading your file. Oh, sorry. It happens. I have copied missing the. Now it's connecting to the workspace. It will upload the file and it will make its own tests. If everything is correct, we will see all in green. If you have something wrong, we will see the wrong thing or the wrong input in red. This is a very important thing that you have to do before you submit your problem set to get the, the highest score. Now the file has been uploaded and now we're waiting for the results. That's amazing. Now we're ready to submit the project problem set you copy this and you paste it here until you get a prompt to say yes or why to the academic honesty you just press on y or yes and then you upload the project to recap there is no one way to solve a code or a problem there are multiple ways for example we can use as we we have done in the video we can use dot lower in print and we can use dot lower also we can move it from here 
and we can use it in the input statement itself dot lower let's give it a try hello world and it gives the same output so there is no one way